Talk About It with Charlene Key. Today we have a topic for you that we believe is very, um, is, is very, what, what is the word I want to look for? Appropriate. Okay. It's appropriate because it helps us discover mm -hmm. what filter we're looking through. And the, the actual title of it is called Lens. Mm -hmm. And I, I think we were riding, you know, a lot of times like we're riding and God is he'll download some revelation and you know, we'll just start talking about it and it's just like boom, this is what it what it is because we were riding down this highway that we're familiar with. And I looked over and I saw this house and I was like, I had never seen that house before. And I was like, it, it's just, and it just, it's like God just dropped, dropped it in like, boop, lens. What are you looking through? Like what lens are you looking through? Mm -hmm. For example, looking through the right lens, you can see details and see things you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Like for a microscope. If you're looking through a microscope lens, you're able to see, well, from our, I used to work in a lab. And when I worked in this lab, um, the the actual um, med tech, she used to do look at the Petri dishes with different things on the Petri dish, dishes through the microscope to determine what actual bacteria was growing. Mm -hmm. So that microscope allowed her, when she adjusted it right, to see that what that bacteria was. Mm -hmm. So when we're looking through that uh, microscope, let's say that we had a filter of a microscope on, I'm just gonna say that. Mm -hmm. When we're looking through that filter of the microscope, if we adjust our, our eyes, the lens that we're looking through, we'll see details. And another thing about that, if you're wearing glasses, let's say you're one to wear glasses, I wear glasses, my husband, he wears readers. So for me, I am what they, what they would say, I, I don't, they say I'm nearsighted. So I, mm -hmm. I'm distance will be um, something that is a, can be a challenge for me. So seeing things distant um, from a distance. But if I have on my glasses, especially when I'm driving, cause I've got, I got better about that. I'm able to see further. Mm -hmm. And in order to see further, I mean, that prevents a lot of things that helps me mm -hmm. to see. So the lens is so important. What lens are you looking through? Mm -hmm. Let's say if you have had an experience and you're, you may have some type of trauma, you know, we're talking about trauma, mm -hmm. traumatic injury or traumatic situations will cause us to look through a lens of trauma. Mm -hmm. So, and, and with that, in that regards, when we look through a lens of trauma, then we're filtering through that trauma. So say, for example, someone, you had an, a disagreement with someone when you were younger and a little kid stole your bike and then you become possessive because that's the filter you're looking through. Like I had my bike stolen when I was younger. So now I need to protect. And so we go into this protection mode. So that's the filter of looking through a traumatic experience or, um, or a experience from when we were younger. It may not even be a traumatic experience, but it's an experience that you recall. And when you recall, you're seeing it through that filter. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I understand it. I understand it. Now, um, let's talk about um, what when we were talking about the, the subject of lenses. Automatically, what came to me was eyeglasses. Mm -hmm. Right? So, <clears throat> it's three different types of lenses that I found. Mm -hmm. One is trifocal, mm -hmm. bifocal, mm -hmm. and progressive. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, Trifocals are mostly recommended for older people who have more complex vision problems. Mm -hmm. So what I gather from that was the older you get, the more you lose focus on your vision or what the vision that you had when you were younger. Mm -hmm. You kind of, because just say you may have retirement, you may have uh, social security, different things like that as a safety net so you're not focused as much on your vision as you once were when you were younger. Hmm. Why would your retirement or... Because it's, 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 it's a couple of reasons why. Hmm. One is fear. When you Sometimes when people get older, I think fear sets in and then they just kind of get comfortable with the, the retirements and the things like that mm -hmm. because they begin to, um, well, this is all I have coming in. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take a risk and invest and lose or whatever because this is what I'm on. A, you heard this say, I'm on a fixed income. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so a lot of times I think the older they get, you know, they lose the vision. They lose they lose kind of focus on what their vision was when they were okay, young. Okay, so I got you now. So you're saying with the with that you're using the the analogy yes. of okay, so I caught I caught up with you. You got you. okay. I, 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 first I was like, what? okay. So Sometimes my husband he goes deep. <laughs> Okay. Then the next one mm -hmm. is bifocals. Mm -hmm. Bifocals are for people who are near and farsighted. Mm -hmm. It's common for people who have noticed a change in their vision at different distances. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So basically what I gather from that is they start to see their vision, um, whether it be good or bad, from a different from they start seeing their vision, trouble seeing their vision for but sometimes it's from life. Mm -hmm. They have kids, mm -hmm. they have jobs, careers that they're trying to follow. And you know, say so like when you're younger, most people are like, I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna be a doctor, I'm a that's their what their vision or what they see mm -hmm. when they're younger. But if they haven't accomplished those goals by a certain time, say when they get like in their forties or whatever they kind of lose if they haven't done it by by 20 in their 20s or 30s now some people are don't get me wrong some people are locked in on what their vision is and they're gonna accomplish it no matter what because mm -hmm. i've seen a story before 80 something year old woman graduated from college with a mm -hmm. master's degree mm -hmm. or bachelor's degree i'm mm -hmm. sorry bachelor's degree so at the older you get you start to kind of lose what your intended where well, what your vision for yourself was for for some people for some people so you're saying that bifocals mm -hmm. because you're okay so the analogy with the bifocals because bifocals can be like you said nearsighted nearsighted mm -hmm. vision people who have nearsighted vision issues or um, farsighted vision issues where they, where they start seeing a change in, in okay. their vision okay in the beginning when they were younger the vision was pow right there at them 2020. and yeah when they get older you know they start seeing a change in their vision like okay. the vision of what they once wanted to okay. do it changes okay okay so you're saying the nearsightedness um the nearsighted not being able to see far off. Not as far as they used to. See. Okay. You okay. see what I mean? Yes. All good. Right. good. The other one is progressive, mm. which this is <laughs> the really good one for a lot of people. Oh. Progressive lenses are uh, lenses that have three prescriptions mm -hmm. um, and one pair of glasses to allow you to work up close, mm -hmm. middle distance. Mm -hmm. And far away differences, distances as far as driving and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So basically, you have a better vision of whether it's in short distances, long distances. So you're able to still see and still lock in and focus on what your vision started with mm -hmm. to see it through, basically. That's really good. That's really good. So... Like in the Bible, I think it's Second Kings six, and the, and the servant came out and said, it, it, "I think you quoted this the other night. Um, it's more of them, what else? It, yes, with them, and then he he had to change his he had to change help him change yes. his vision. Like no, this is it's more with us than it is Come with on, them. Holy Ghost, speak! I love you. See it. what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So he had to he had to get him to change his vision. vision. That's I said really a lot. Good. No, you didn't. You said it was okay. really, really good. It was really good. Um, I, I, I don't really have much after that. The only other thing I had was a telescope. With mm -hmm. the telescope, you, but I mean, even yours hit on it. The telescope allows you to look into the galaxy. I mean, you can mm -hmm. see really, really, really far really with far, the telescope. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that too talks about vision and also how the vision, as you talked about when you were younger, you had mm -hmm. this vision. And as you get older, yeah. different people, different, different things. People. Because, you I go. mean, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be older people. Yeah. Because you can be older and still have yes. mastered that. Yes. That vision that you wrote or writing at this moment. Because yep. it's never too late. And that's never. another thing. The Lord says in the word of God, he says that he will renew our strength as the eagles. And that also, even as we're old, get older, we will still be flourishing. I mean, he said it in his word. We will still flourish as we are in, in the kingdom. In older age, yeah. In older age. And that's the part I left out for the older people with the trifocals. 
no matter what, even if you're getting older, the Bible says we will flourish in older age. We'll still flourish. So kick the fear, That's kick good. the comfort. That's good. And keep it pushing. That's good. Check your lens. Until next time. Thank you. Thank you.